Business Central 25 has come with new exciting Power BI reports that we can use as standard out of the box. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set these up so you can start using them with your Business Central data. The new Power BI reports are split into six different areas. We have 14 purchasing reports, 19 finance reports, 12 warehouse reports, 12 sales and marketing reports, 12 manufacturing reports, and eight projects reports. These can be consumed within Business Central itself or in the Power BI service as an app. Each app contains a collection of reports shown on different pages, all hooked up to your Business Central data. So to get started and install these Power BI apps into Business Central, we need to first go to the Power BI service, click on apps on the left hand side of the screen and navigate to the green get apps button. Here we can see all the apps that are available in Power BI. You can see a couple of the Business Central ones showing there already, or you can use the search bar at the top. If you search for Business Central, you'll see there's more than seven apps available to us. However, the BC25 ones are only seven separate apps. Whilst there's a lot more reports, each app contains multiple reports. The main apps that we're looking for are finance, inventory, inventory valuation, manufacturing, projects, purchasing and sales. So to install an app, select it. Another window will open up explaining what the app is in slightly more detail and then click get it now. This will take us back to the apps page in the Power BI service. Click install and you'll see a window pop up at the right to say that this could take a little while. It shouldn't take too long. And once that app has been installed, we will see it listed here like so. Once that app is installed, you can then proceed to install the others. There are seven in total, so this can be a little bit time consuming, but repeat the same step for each of the apps. The reports we're looking to install do all start with Dynamics 365 Business Central and then the subject that they cover. However, when you're looking at them in the App Store, they can have slightly different names and it might not always start with Dynamics 365. The way you can check if this is an old version of a Power BI app or the new BC25 Power BI reports, if you open up to see more details on that app, there are screenshots. If there is just one screenshot of one page, that is an old app. All of the new apps have multiple pages, so you're looking for the ones that have multiple screenshots. Once you have all of the apps installed, we then need to connect it to our Business Central data. As we've installed it, it's currently connected to a sample data set. So if we open up one of the apps, you'll see a yellow bar at the top saying you're viewing this app with sample data and a link to connect your data. If you click on that link, a menu will open up in which you need to input your environment and company. We do need to input this exactly and it does have to be done manually. So I'm pointing to the production environment and my company is Cronus Izzy. Click next and we will see a credential pop up asking us for an authentication method. I'll be using OAuth 2 and the privacy setting is automatically set to organisational. Next, I'll sign in and connect. Once I've signed in, I'll see the bar at the top refreshing. The data is now refreshing and inputting our business central data. I can go back and it will continue to do this. And I need to repeat the step for each of the apps. Same thing again input the environment and the company name and I will need to authenticate again. Repeat this step for all of the apps that you're installing. Once you've updated the data source for each of the apps, you can open up and check that that's refreshed. The best way to do this is to open it and you can see the company name at the top and the last refreshed. So I can see that this is now pointing to my company. The other way you can check is by opening the drop down at the top where it says data updated and you can see the time that this is refreshed. 
Now that we have everything set up in the Power BI service, it's time to plug this into Business Central. Navigate to BC, and we're going to go to the Power BI Connector Setup page. On this page, we can configure the date table, we can change the calendar type, the start and the end dates for the date table, and select the first day week, and also the country where you're based so that you can get local national holidays. Beneath the date table configuration, we have six areas. These are the areas that our reports cover. We have six areas, but seven reports because the inventory report contains two separate Power BI report files. So if we open the finance one, for example, this is where we need to tell Business Central which file in the Power BI service is our finance report. So if we click on the three dots, we'll see a setup report wizard. So follow through this wizard, click on next. Ensure you have a Power BI license to use your signed in as. And then click finish. You only have to follow that step once. Once you've got through to this page, you can select which app from your Power BI service contains the finance report. So we're looking for the one that says Dynamics 365 Business Central Finance Report. Then we can click the finance app. And that has then plugged the finance report into Business Central. If I now navigate back to the role center and go to all reports, under my finance section, I can now see Power BI reports and there's 19. I can select on any of these and it will open up that page within the Power BI app, like so. So if we go back to the Power BI Connector Setup page, we then need to repeat that step for the other six areas. So next, I will follow Sales. As you can see, I've already authenticated, so it takes me straight to this page. Click on the Sales Report app, and then the app. And that has plugged sales in. So now if I go to the sales area, I will find the sales Power BI reports. Repeat for the sections below. When you come to the inventory section, make sure you put in the inventory report, the app that just has the title inventory. And in the inventory valuation report, we use the inventory valuation reports app. Once you have plugged all the apps into the relevant sections on the Connector Setup page, you're ready to start using the Power BI apps in Business Central 25. As you can see on this page, there are further steps you can take if you wish to fill the data down further using the different start and end date sections within each category. Otherwise, we can go back, look at all reports, and we will find within each section now we have a full list of Power BI reports per area. And I can select any of these to open up a relevant page. We can also pin our Power BI reports to the role center. If we scroll down and find the Power BI section, click Get Started with Power BI and follow the steps through the wizard. You'll then be able to select reports and what you'll see here is a list of workspaces that your user has access to in Power BI. We can see here each of the reporting apps that we've just installed. So if I select the sales app, for example, I can then pin the sales app here on the role center page. To navigate through the pages of that app, I can click on the Power BI title and click next or previous to scroll through those different report pages. This is still interactive. You can still click on areas to slice and dice your data as you would within the Power BI service. Of course, the other way to consume this data is in the Power BI service itself. So you can just use the apps on Power BI without having to access them in Business Central if you choose. And that is how to use the new Business Central 25 Power BI apps.